What the hell were they doing here? Okay, I mean, what if this arms dealer sells the football to these terrorists? I mean, and they come up with a code to activate it. I mean, whoa, we could be talking a big boom here, year-round skiing and nuclear winter. Am I right? Now he's beginning to understand. Yeah, what am I beginning to understand? This is a job for a government agent. He is a government agent. Wait, excuse me, V-Man. But Brick happens to be a mentally unstable egomaniac with bionic limbs that he's too freaked to use. Look, Hayes, you don't even know what it's like, okay? I hung out in the desert for three years because I couldn't deal with my weirdness. It's not an easy thing to beat. And if he needs our help, I'm going to give it to him. We're going to give it to him. What, by doing a top secret mission? Top secret? I can't even believe I'm saying those words. Billy. We built Brick's bionics. We know weird. Now, the government psychiatrists believe that the best thing for Brick to do to solve his problems is just to get back out in the field. To correct what he thinks he screwed up. Right. And we're going to help him behind his back without him even knowing it, right? Well, I just hope you guys know what this is doing to him. Because we're talking the ego the size of Godzilla. Oh, right. So that's it, isn't it, pal? Because that passing thing in college, you don't want to help? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Okay, let me see if I can remember what you taught me on the plane. Uh, Nuzi voila. Quel vieux magnifique. C'est bon. C'est vrai. That's good. Have a good teacher. Let's see about rental cars. What are we looking for here? Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, one red hot Ferrari and a uh, silver Volkswagen. Um, I'll tell you what, gang. Why don't I look for the red hot Ferrari? Brick. Brick. Ferrari's yours. I think that's it down there. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't... I'd feel better if... Riding in the VW, I know. That's what I meant. See, the Bricker's feeling a little unsure of himself right now, and maybe he'd feel better riding... The Ferrari is Bricks, Billy. Mm -hmm. Glow, look, why don't you ride with Brick, and you can practice your French, and uh, we'll follow you to the hotel. The shoes on there, n'est-ce pas, Billy? Ben's over here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, Bo, I know what that meant, you know. You want to tell me what she meant? I mean, this is about me, right? That was about me, Gloria, wasn't it? I mean, I know enough French to know that. So what's she saying? The cabbage is green. That was close. Hey, isn't that the Betty from the plane? Oh, yeah, yeah. She was kind of giving me the eye. Maybe I'll just kind of go with that. You're a Carnation hot cocoa drinker. You know it's good. No question about it. But we thought you should know that Swiss Miss is better. Sorry. In fact, in a national taste test, women preferred Swiss Miss to Carnation. By almost two to one. Now, I'm not saying Carnation is second rate. Just second best. Try Swiss Miss, a better hot cocoa. Before you slip it over, before you pull it up, before you slide it on, before you dress, Caress. Caress isn't soap. It's the body bar with bath oil. Caress can't dry your skin the way soap can. Gives you the soft you just can't get from soap. You'll feel smoother, softer, softer than anything that touches you. Before you dress, Caress. That cool, refreshing feeling of Wrigley's spearmint gum puts a sparkle in your eye, a spring in your step, and makes things lots of fun. It's that little Wrigley's spearmint gum. It's that little Come on and get you some. That clean, fresh taste Wrigley's spearmint got. That little lift that means a lot. It's that little Wrigley's spearmint gum. Got a number. Hey, nice work all the way through. I didn't do anything. Yeah, sure you did. You pushed the car. Hey, hey, Bricker. 
What a move. Way the way you got Glow out of there just at the last minute. He almost got sacked. I I didn't. Uh... Sure you did. You were great. Was he great? Great. Was he great? Just great. Just great. great. <sighs> Can't remember. I'm, I I must have blacked out. Are you sure? Uh, Bricker, we're talking Joe Montana in the floating the pocket here. Okay, all pro moves. Oh, what was that big uh, explosion? Big what? backfire. Boom. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... I guess maybe I, uh... I did do okay. Yeah! Building Brick's confidence. That's why they were there, and it rubbed Hayes wrong. The agency put them in the smallest rooms in the hotel. Okay, that's life. But Mr. Secret Agent got... Mm -hmm. La grande suite de la Riviera pour Monsieur Tyler. Right, Tyler, got it. Nice dig, Brett. Not bad. I tell you, but after that little run-in with that blonde, I could use a hot shower. Look! A food basket. Uh, maybe you should leave it alone, Glow. I think after our little run-in with the blonde, we're not too welcome here. I think it's okay, Johnny B. That's the way Oscar usually sends his instructions. That's the videotape? Oscar likes to send the latest developments via satellite. Well, someone better take care of Z Bellman first. No, I got it. I don't think that's what he expected. Okay. So this is what it was all about. Secret instructions on microtape. And yet Hayes felt strangely comfortable, like he'd been here before. Does anyone else feel a little like Peter Graves? Okay, well, I guess that about covers it. No, no, no. I, I know there's something on it. Uh, I put the tape in backwards. Give me that. That's okay. These things go both ways. I don't think these do. Welcome to the French Riviera. See? No problem. Chateau Lachine. An exclusive uh -oh. gambling establishment. No, no, look. In the country. Country. Okay, that's the arms dealer. Chateau at four o'clock this afternoon. What's the deal's going down at four o'clock at the chateau? The yellow turban. Yellow turban, right, we got that. Very dangerous. I think we'd all agree on that. Kill. I don't like the sound of this. I'm sorry to have to break that to you. Uh, Richard here has something to say. Uh, uh, I just want to say that uh, knowing now what we know now, uh, I would have called you back. I, I, I really would. Only you, you probably wouldn't want to come back. So uh, I, I, I think this is probably, uh, I think this is probably all for the best. Uh, I just, be careful. Hayes, this is very, very dangerous now. And just don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Well, that left them all pretty depressed. Knowing what we know now... Very, very dangerous. What do you suppose you meant by that? We'd have known if I wouldn't have screwed up the tape. He was right, and they all knew it. Oh, uh, no, look, uh, you can't mess up the tape by putting it in backwards. It was probably my electricity that screwed it up. You really think so? <laughs> Hayes was thrilled to see Brick's confidence building. So, look, all we have to do to find out is give him a call. So, uh, does anyone know what time it is in L.A.? 